Good morning. Thank you for having this speech here at this conference. The aim of this speech will be uh, an overview on uh, the biosimilant, what is a biosimilant, and the first um, uh, activity, the, what's going on on the regulatory aspect in Europe about bi plant biosimilant. So, Okay, so let's uh, start with what should be the target for the agriculture. Agriculture should uh, satisfy the increase in demand for food. In 2015, uh, world population will reach uh, 2000, uh, 9 billion people. So we have to food, to create food for all these people. Agriculture has a big uh, challenge to do that. Face the scarcity of resources, increasing its efficiency, so agriculture should increase the efficiency, the capacity to produce, increase the, the yield, <coughs> reduce the impact of agriculture products on environment, and guarantee sustainability in the long term. To achieve all this goal, one of the most powerful tools we have are R&D, research and development, and innovation. So, uh, entomologists agreed that uh, if from tomorrow bees will disappear from the world, agriculture will have big trouble in produce food for everyone because bees are responsible for more than 70% of pollination for each crop. So it's really clear to us that there is a strict connection between agriculture, biodiversity, and environment. So at that point arises a question. Is it possible to ensure for all human kings, for all human kings, enough healthy, good food in balance with the environment, with the biodiversity? This is the main question. One of the most common answer is yes, just investing in innovation, research. Invest in the right way in the research and development, in innovation. Exists a lot of examples that innovation, research and development in the last few years increased the yield potential, increased the agriculture potential to produce food. For example, technification, tractors. Uh, 1987, China has had not more than 73 tractors for 100 square meter kilometer, and India more than 42. After 10 years, China, China doubled the number of tractors, and India now has four times more tractors. Another example is, for example, precision agriculture. Today, you know that thanks to the satellite, we can drive the tractor in the field to feed the crop, giving to the crop the right amount of nutrition, nitrogen. So, respect the environment, use in the right way, in balanced way, the agriculture, the feeding for the plant, get the best result in terms of field. Another important, a powerful uh, tools now are the biostimulant. The biostimulant now are well recognized by the scientific world, the researcher, the university, as a tool that is able to work inside the plant physiology, increasing the plant potential, the plant productivity. There are a lot of uh, uh, scientific research, uh, uh, publication, work, uh, that demonstrate that biostimulants are really powerful to increase the plant potential. Also, from a market point of view, there is a forecast that in the next three years, the market for biostimulant will be three times more high than the traditional fertilizer market. In 2018, there is a forecast that the market of biosimulant achieve almost two billion US dollars. So biosimulants are interesting from market point of view, are interesting because it seems to be one of the safest way to increase the yield, to increase the agriculture productivity. But let's we go a little bit inside the plant physiology and see how biosimulant can apply, can work together with the plant to challenge the plant potential. We know that exists a theoretical genetic potential inside the plant. This, the amount of 
hill that plants are genetically programmed to achieve if the condition in field are just perfect. But we know that the condition in field are never perfect. So there are some scientific work that demonstrate that, uh, for example, corn can produce per hectare, theoretically, 30, 35 tons. But we know that it's impossible to get this amount of yield per hectare. Why? Because the conditions in field are not perfect. So sometimes we get more, sometimes we get less, but impossible to get the theoretical genetic potential. In normal condition, what happens? That plant along the cycle makes some choice depending on the condition the plant finds in field. And once the plant takes the decision, we cannot modify anymore this decision. For example, if the plant determines two cobs per plant, th this plant will never have more than two cobs. If one cobs, the plant determine 14 rows, we will never have more than 14 rows in this cob. And if determine 17 kernels for each row, we will never have my more than 17 kernels. This is a normal condition. But sometimes it happens that as season progress, the plant pass through this growth stage during the plant making the decision, and sometimes some stress occurs in field. So it could be that instead of two cobs, the plant takes the decision to have just one cob. So potentially we can lose 50% of our yield per hectare. That is why it's really important to support our plant with the right solution, with the right support for each growth stage. So summarizing, we have a potential production that is impossible to achieve. We have a standard situation, a stress situation. Biostimulant work inside the plant physiology taking these curves closer than possible to the potential production. But to do that, we have to be right with the right solution and biostimulant, with the right needs of the plant, to increase the plant performance. But to be right with the biostimulant, we be right with the solution, we have to know deep the plant physiology. So research and development, once again, are really important to let us to go inside the plant, study the plant physiology, the need of the plant, and how biostimulant can interact with the plant physiology and their productivity. Balagro believes that adapting the right solution, the right biostimulant for each stage is the right tool to enhance the plant productivity and exploit the fullest plant potential. But at that point, the question is, what is a biostimulant? So, biostimulant is materials which contain substances and or microorganisms whose function, when applied to the plant or the rhizosphere, is increase crop yield and plant vigor, enhance increase the soil fertility, improve crop quality, increase tolerance to abiotic stress. This is, is the actual definition we have for biostimulant. Obviously, behind biostimulant, we have to explore what makes biostimulant work. What are the compounds inside the biostimulant formulation that let biostimulant enhance the plant productivity, the yield? So we need a deep understanding of what we can do with biostimulant in plant physiology. Today exists omics science. Valagro is adopting this kind of omics science that is composed by genomics analysis. Genomics analysis uses the microarray technology. We can have a look in what happened in the gene after we apply on our biostimulant, how the gene are up-regulated, down-regulated, how the gene are responding to this compound content inside our product, activating some plant physiology process, some plant metabolism, 
genomic, proteomic, metabolomic, can help this analysis. Metabolomic, proteomics, let us understand what kind, what kind of metabolite, what kind of enzyme, protein, are produced, comparing with an untreated plant, once we apply a biostimulant. To finalize, to consolidate all this data, phenomic. Phenomic is the last science we are using in Valagro. There is a plant phenomic plant also here in Australia, probably one of the biggest in the world. This technology, with this technology, is possible to detect how the phenotype of the plant change, the morphometric parameter change after the application of a one visa stimulant or some compound. So all this omic science give us a complete picture of what a biostimulant do inside a plant. Not only the aim of our work is so understand what makes a biostimulant work, explain the function, the model function of this biostimulant, discovery new molecules, new opportunities, predict the function of all the natural compound inside the formulation of each biostimulant. We can do that just with strong cooperation, relationship with university, research center, be present inside the university, grow together the researcher. We just have a lot of uh, uh, exclusivity contract. We pay, we help the researcher to develop new technology that can be useful also for Valagro to grow and better understand the biostimulant or what behind a biostimulant. The last step is obviously go in field and test for each geography, each local condition, if this biostimulant is working in the right way to help the agriculture achieve the goals. So this is, is what behind a biostimulant from Valagro point of view. But what's going on in Europe in terms of legislation, in terms of regulatory framework? The concept is that as science progress, the regulatory framework should be updated. Obviously, when we discover no, new tools, new things, we have to think also in something that can regulate the market of this new product. An example is, for, is the food stuff in Europe between the two extreme basic food stuff, medicine, drugs, there are a lot of regulatory framework to control, for example, vaccine, functional food, probiotics. In the agric agriculture today in Europe, we have just the two extremes. We have the fertilizer regulatory framework and the pesticide regulatory framework. So why not create a new regulatory framework also for biostimulant, also for inducer plant resistance. This is, is the concept behind the new regulation that is coming on in Italy, in Europe, sorry. What companies want for biostimulant? Clear biostimulant definition, clear distinction between biostimulant and pesticide, should be inside the fertilizer registration framework, should be claim-based approach so we have to register a product because we demonstrate that this product is doing something useful for the plant. Should have a specific formulation that have to be registered. Should have a main effort. So that should be accepted, credible, and with a strong like, literature behind. Strong scientific work behind. Safe to use, European-wide, so each country have to have the same registration rule. Innovation and data protection means that obviously if as company, Valagro register a product, have to disclose the composition, but this has to be protected. So we disclose our secret, our industrial secret, but we have to be sure that nobody can copy the composition, the knowledge, our research behind more. Oops, sorry. Should have a reasonable time to market. We cannot wait 10 years 
to register a product. It should bring value for farmer. So farmer have to be sure that with this biostimulant he can get some positive stuff, increasing yield, protect the crop against stress. So now we have in Europe a new regulation for biostimulant is on the way. This activity in Europe is under control of uh, European Bio Biostimulant Industry Council, that is a um, uh, council. At the beginning, inside, there were 11 members. Today, we have 52 members. They are working to create a truly European market for biostimulant, achieve more sustainable agriculture, innovation-based job creation, and some milestones are secure the place of biostimulant in the revised fertilizer regulation, negotiated a regulatory definition together with the European Commission, and should be as a guideline also for other countries, because biostimulants now are growing also in other countries, Australia as an example. What should be also safe, secure, and ensure for the farmer that plant biostimulant on the market are effective, safe, and profitable. So this is, is the actual proposal which we are doing. Between the two extremes, biotics, uh, the crop protection and fertilizer, the biostimulant category. Plant biostimulant means a material which contains substances and or microorganisms whose function when applied to the plants or the rhizosphere is to stimulate natural process to benefit nutrient uptake, nutrient efficiency, tolerance to abiotic stress, and their crop quality, independently of its nutrient content. Abiotic stress, climate approach, from product to solution. Thank you. I invite you in November, we will have the second World Congress on the use of biostimulant in agriculture in Italy. So if you are interested in uh, biostimulant, I am really happy to have all you attending this uh, Congress. Thank you.